friends welcome to tutorials point today we are going to start a new chapter of class 9 physics which is work and energy and this video will be basically an introductory video to the same chapter now we human beings perform a lot of activities throughout the day for example we perform activities like playing singing cycling reading and writing Apart from this, we perform many other activities like exercising, cooking or chatting with friends or talking to friends. So these are all the activities we generally perform throughout the day. Now out of these, some of the activities like reading, writing, singing and chatting with friends takes a very less amount of energy. We just have to sit or stand and do some little amount of work. So these activities are not strenuous, so they do not consume more energy. On the other hand, activities like playing outdoor games like football, table tennis and cricket and also uh, activities like cycling or exercising requires a huge amount of energy to be spent because these kind of works are strenuous. That is, they consume a lot of energy as compared to such activities like singing, reading, writing and chatting with friends. Now, to perform any work of such kind, we require at least some amount of energy. And we spend energy to perform such work or such kind of activities. Now, where do we get that energy from? Basically, we get that energy from the food that we consume in a day or every day we eat food around three to four times a day and that supplies us with the required amount of energy to perform the daily life activities or the works that we perform throughout the day now not only we human beings but animals also perform a lot of activities throughout the day for example animals like uh, perform activities like running jumping or swimming and also flying apart from this they perform other activities like chasing their prey to feed themselves and those activities are all strenuous that is they consume a lot of energy it takes a lot of energy to perform such kind of work now animals also get energy to perform such activities from the food that they eat in the inner day now uh, these are living, living things. Uh, for example, we humans and animals are living things. We get energy from the food that we eat. But what about machines? Machines also perform a lot of work, right? For example, machines like electric fan, electric iron, LCD TV and refrigerator. Now these are the electrical appliances which are found in almost every household. And we, we are able to perform work using these appliances or these appliances make our work easier or in other words they perform the work that we are supposed to perform so they work for us now whenever some something or someone has to perform a work it requires energy to be spent now these appliances as they perform work there must be energy that mu they must be spending to perform such kind of work. Now, where does this energy come from? Now, this energy comes from the electrical supply that we have made to all such appliances. That is the energy, the form of energy that they utilize is the electrical energy which comes from the electrical supply that we have made to them. Now, all these appliances are based on one kind of energy that is electrical energy. But there are so many other kinds of energy that we are using nowadays. For example, one such kind of energy is the solar energy, the energy that is extracted from the sunlight. Now, we have such appliances which are based on solar energy. For example, the solar street light and the solar fan and also the solar lamp. Now, these are some of the examples of appliances where we use solar energy. Now all these appliances have a solar panel connected to them and this solar panel usually traps the solar energy which comes from the sunlight when it is placed under the sunshine. And this solar energy is used 
later on whenever it is needed. So these, all these appliances are based on solar energy. Now not only we have electrical and solar energy, but there are other kinds of energy like wind energy, tidal energy, and also energy like geothermal energy, which is extracted from the earth interior. Now these are some of the forms of energy that we are able to use nowadays to make our lives simpler or to perform strenuous work. We use these kind of energies. Now from all these activities or from all these examples that I have shown uh, here in these, these many slides, we come to a conclusion. And what's that? The conclusion is that we require energy to do some work. Be, it the, be the work performed be, by ourselves or it is performed by the electrical appliances or the machines that we use. But everywhere we saw that whenever there has to be a work which has to be performed, there is a need of energy or all kinds of work consume some sort of energy. So we require energy to do some work. So we define the term energy like this, that is the ability to do work is called energy. That is, if we want to perform a work, we need to have energy to be spent. So if we are able to perform work, we say that we have energy. Or in other words, to put it in a different way, we require energy to do work, which means that if we don't have energy with us, it is not possible for us to perform any kind of work. And same applies to the machines that we use. If we do not supply them with electrical energy, they will not perform work that they are supposed to perform. So energy is what we require to perform work. So these two terms that is energy and work are very closely linked to each other. That is the terms work and energy are closely linked to each other and the, uh, the term work depends upon energy and energy also depends upon work. Now in this chapter basically we are going to study about three terms that is the first one is the work, the second is the energy and the third is the power which is the rate at which the work is performed. So that's what we call power, the rate of doing work. So these are the three terms which we will be focusing on this chapter, in this chapter. And we'll be also uh, learning about different concepts which are linked to these, these terms here. That is work, energy and power. So in the videos to come, we'll be basically focusing about on the concepts which are linked to these terms and these terms in detail. So with this, we have come to the end of this video and I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. Tutorialspoint.com. Simply easy learning.